As we look to recovery, though, one big question is immunity. A local business is in the works to create an antibody test and to determine if some of us have resistance to the coronavirus. The specialist Dan Rascone is on this story. Dan, how close are they to getting this out into the public? It all depends on the approval process here. If this biotech company can get those approvals that they need from the FDA, they hope to get it up and running out there by the end of the month or by the first of next month. But it's not telling you whether or not you actually have the uh, coronavirus right now. It's giving you much more critical information that could be important to get the country up and running again. This is by far the most excited I have been. Excitement is building here at Quantas Bioscience in Logan, where they've entered the fight against a deadly and contagious coronavirus. And we realized pretty quickly, yeah, there is something we can do. For 15 years, this biotech company has been testing a variety of diseases across the world for developing countries. So it was natural for them to now move into COVID-19. But this isn't a test to determine if you currently have the virus. This is much more. Like, have you ever had the virus in the last several months and are you now immune to it? What it does for the individual is gives you confidence now that you won't be infected, that you can go and visit your grandma, you can go and visit or, or help people in the community. What it tells the public is the spread of the virus. How many people truly were infected by this virus? Testing for antibodies against the virus is not something new. Biotech companies across the world are working to get those tests into the market. The challenge is there are still so many unknowns about COVID-19. There's still some investigation work that needs to be done to determine the usefulness of those tests. They depend on a high prevalence of disease. Quantas is convinced once they've checked off all the requirements and get FDA approval, this kind of test could be a life changer. It's that knowledge that you're protected, that you may be immune and that you're free to return to work and start kick-starting the economy and getting things going again. So the big question out there, if you had the virus or had it, can you be immune to it or can you get it again? That question, of course, not answered yet, but the biotech company hoping to have those answers if these tests are approved. It will be a simple uh, finger prick test that will take a couple of hours for the results. Back to you in the studio. Testing like that is really what we need right now. Dan, thank you.